that's better than the tug. Send them to. For me, it's whatever I said. Any other way, I guess he is. Okay. I'm gonna go save my car. Aaron didn't get that shot. Check my check check one two three four five check check. Okay, and if I could just get your your name, your title, how you spell it, and where you're from, your know, division. Yes, sir. I'm a Chief Petty Officer Brian Garino, U.S. Coast Guard, Station Woods Hole, Officer in Charge. Very good. And can you tell me a little bit about what happened here today? Uh, approximately 10:30 local time, the uh, sailing vessel called in. It was the sailing vessel uh, Unicorn. Unicorn. Uh, called in. They were uh, going hard aground in Woods Hole Pass. Uh, Sixteen persons on board. Uh, nine or ten of those were uh, uh, children. Uh, we had minors on board. Uh, got on scene. Uh, we're going to be unable to uh, unground the vessel uh, without causing further uh, damage to the vessel or further their uh, risk to the uh, persons on board. So uh, it was, the decision was made to go ahead and start disembarking the passengers, try to mitigate the risk to them as much as we could. Uh, we brought uh, ten persons back, one adult and the nine uh, minors back here to the uh, unit and uh, uh, got them safely ashore. And how are they? Any injuries or anything? No, sir. No injuries at all thus far between the uh, ones who remain on board the, uh, the, the sailing vessel or the ones we have here. And do you have any idea of like what happened or how it happened? Uh, I'm unsure at this time. They're actually uh, starting to take a look at that right now uh, with some of our uh, our interview staff and uh, some of our, uh, our uh, investigation personnel are looking into that right now to see exactly uh, uh, how it was caused and what happened. Our, our main uh, goal of this was the rescue. And what are the weather conditions like at the time of the rescue? Uh, pretty much what you see right now, but uh, through Woods Hole Pass you do have a pretty good uh, current that pushes through there and that current was in the process of ebbing which was going out so they were only losing more and more water as the time went along. And do you have any idea what type of uh excursion they were on? Or? Uh, from what I understand, I don't want to conject too much, it was a, uh, a summer at sea type program. Uh, I'm unsure exactly, but it was a school-based uh, type educational uh, program from what I understand. And what do you hope to do? Are you waiting for the tide to change to maybe get it off the rocks? Or? 
Yes, sir. We're waiting on to see what the environmentals will uh, allow us to work with. We're waiting to see what commercial silage will be capable of. They do have a uh, going agreement with a uh, with a tow firm, and we're waiting to see what their uh, what their next move is going to be with that. Great. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, no, sir. Not 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 this time. Perfect. Thank you. That's perfect.